All right, here we go. This one's going to be a 380 test. Today we have some Winchester ammo to try out. So this one is the 95 grain Ranger T-Series. Here's what that one looks like. It does have your nickel plated brass and that one's rated at 1000 feet per second. So we'll be going out of our short barrel Ruger LCP that does have that two and three quarter inch barrel. And through our gel that is a 10% block. The over a catch block behind that so a total of 22 inches of gel four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front and like always we'll set up our chronograph so you can hopefully pick up those impact velocities so let's set up and see how this round does um i actually do have a couple tracks in here from a previous test but it looks like we can sneak one more down the center so here we go all right where's the mech to 15 feet All right, so before we even check that out, it looks like um, we really didn't get too much expansion. So that's probably one of the first ones in this gel test that, you know, we haven't really gotten anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bare gel test. Um, you know, it's not really too scientific or anything, but, um, you know, we might as well at least get some kind of expansion. So let's try this one one more time. All right, now let's check out how we did on those. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that second one was 854.3, and the first one was 860.7, so uh, pretty consistent. So let's see how we did. All right, so there is both the entry holes for that one. So this one right here on the left is our uh, cotton t-shirt. The one on the right is that bear gel shot. You know, so definitely not too bad. I got some pretty good hits. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side. We can't really tell from the top, um, you know, just because we're looking down through this thick block. But let's see how we did. So it looks like this one on the bottom is our uh, cotton t-shirt and our bear gel on top. So as you can see, that bear gel one got stuck in that first block and that uh cotton t-shirt got stuck in the second one so let's see if we can get a measurement on that first one it almost looks like it went and then it tumbled about halfway through so let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side so on that one we're just about an inch um, and then it did start to settle down a little bit and then like i said right here towards the end it started to open up again so that definitely means it's tumbling it's about the same about an inch and that one did make it into that second block and we went quite a ways um so here is that second one there on top let's see if we can get a decently accurate measurement on that one that one is a bear gel so of course it's gonna do a little bit more damage that one is just shy of two inches so that's actually quite a bit but you know it wasn't really going through anything so uh that one does like look like it did uh, settle down pretty quickly though pretty much dumped all its energy there at the beginning and then uh it did settle down pretty darn quickly but it looks like we did get some expansion on that so with this first one you can see it resting down in there um it is facing forward so it looks like it did correct itself after it did uh tumble and it looks like with that one about five and a half inches of penetration so that makes it a total of 16 inches for that first one and let's see at our leading edge on the second one we made it eight and three quarter inches so definitely not as much as that first one so uh what we're gonna do is we'll lay this flat see if we can get a little bit better look at those tracks which you kind of can um they are overlapping each other so a little bit more difficult but that first one on top is the cotton t-shirt and the one on the bottom is that bear gel so i'll just kind of show both of them really quickly so you can see that first one really didn't do too much damage compared to that second one and they did go pretty good there is that first one and that second one made it pretty far uh, so let's pull both these rounds and see what they look like all right check these things out so it looks like one of them got some really nice expansion and one of them didn't so we'll check out that uh, cotton t-shirt first 
so you can see it definitely tried it really did it uh kind of started but just didn't have enough to actually open up there's a little bit of cotton t-shirt a little bit of gel stuff down in there but uh just was not able to open up you can see those perfect rifling marks on there but yeah it didn't have enough to open it up still pretty impressive for penetration but you know those ranger tees just do, usually do not like that uh fabric in front unless you know they never usually fail when i'm testing the higher velocity stuff but uh and there is that one through that bear gel of course this one is picture perfect open up really nicely it actually did uh open up really wide too but you can see those nasty talons or petals sticking out they are razor sharp and there's quite a bit of gel stuff down in this so i will uh rinse it here at the end before we do our still shots and stuff but definitely pretty impressive when they do open up but kind of expected for that one because uh it is definitely a tough bullet and especially for you know that little 380 yeah, that little tiny short barrel i did test this one quite a long time ago it's probably been over a year now out of a four and a quarter inch and that one opened up perfectly through the cotton but you know that short barrel just uh definitely struggled but there they are one time from the bottom so the one on the right is that uh cotton t-shirt one on the left is that bear gel and last time from the top so like i said i will rinse these out so you guys can get a little bit better look there we go guys that one was that 380 ranger t series cotton t-shirt and bear gel thanks for watching guys all right so here's that ranger t cross section we're actually going to do both at the same time um, it'll probably just be a little bit easier that way so these uh little holes on the top are from the four layers of cotton t-shirt and these two bigger ones are from uh, the bear gel shot so you can see that cotton t-shirt one definitely uh, prevented it from opening up so it's not the biggest hole same on that one pretty small um, I did remeasure those are right at about three quarters of an inch um, and that is you know a little bit further down um, but that bear gel is definitely a different story of course it's not a uh, very scientific or anything like that it was just to see if we can actually get some kind of expansion on that round uh, especially out of that super short barrel so I did remeasure those and those are right at two inches uh, so definitely pretty impressive for that so uh, let's cut it open all right, so here's after being cut. We're gonna do that uh, four layers of cotton t-shirt first. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this too well just because the cutting board that we're using kind of blends in. But uh, this bottom is the right side, this top is the left. So you can see as soon as that thing came in, it really didn't do too much. Um, there is a little stretch cavity going on and it, I believe that's exactly where it tumbled. And then uh, later on through the block, this is about six inches of gel or the first you know half. And uh, later on it did start to tumble again, but uh, didn't create too much damage. There's still a little bit in there, of course, but uh, not as much as it would have if that round would have, would have expanded. Excuse me. So same thing right there. Looks like it came in, start to uh, tumble right there, and then it did flatline pretty darn quickly. And we got quite a bit of penetration on that one. So uh, that one was that four layers of cotton t-shirt. All right, and here's that bear gel shot. So this bottom is the right, this top is the left. So you can see this one, as soon as it came in, it was probably that half inch mark. It was a little bit delayed before it started to open up. But when it did, it actually got uh, you know quite a bit of damage. Just uh, barely hanging on right here. But we've got some nice wide cuts going on all the way through this little gel path. Um, definitely very impressive once it did open up. But, you know, it, if it's not going to open up with at least some t-shirt or something, you know, it's really not worth carrying. Um, same thing in this top came in opened up pretty nicely got a pretty decent stretch cavity going all the way through but we definitely got some nice deep cuts going on so that one was uh, pretty cool to see you know how nasty those rounds actually do open up um, I believe we only had about eight inches of penetration so definitely not the most but you know it's kind of expected for that little 380 but there we go guys that one was that 95 grain Ranger T-Series